So just a quick update. Uh, just searching through uh, some of the Mighty Car Mods forums and seen a couple of people talking about drill presses and that type of stuff. So, well, another video. Thought I would actually show the different t different types of drills, bits, and everything, and all the little accessories. So the first drill bits we have here, these are actually for metal. You can tell just because of the way they look and the tip of them. And the second, these are actually spade bits. You can tell, well, hence the name spade, they look like a spade. And these are actually for wood, just for boring out holes and everything. There's all different types of sizes. And the second one we have, these are masonry. You can tell because of the tip. You actually take a look at the tip. It's very different from that. And they actually got a red tip on it and actually is for masonry. You can tell by the actual swivels on this for the concrete. And next is just normal just drilling wood. But once again the tip's totally different to anything else. They got this point so you can actually start where you want to start. And oh sorry, once again the swivels are totally different. And next is actually a hole saw kit. You know, little different uh, sizes from like small to like large. And yeah, the way they work is they just connect to this little piece here. And you can just bore out holes and everything. And one more thing, the drill press. I'll actually show you mine, mine's a Ryobi. It's just a little, more of a hobby one really. It's not super big but it's not super small at the same time. And actually I recently just oiled this because sometimes they do go a bit rusty and you just want to keep them more oiled up so they're nice and smooth. And with this one, I don't know if you can see, but this one actually has a laser on it. I don't know if you can see that laser or not. But it's actually laser guided, so which is pretty sweet. And you actually can remove this little plug here. So you can't switch it on and off without that plug being in there. So that's pretty good if people have little kids and that and they um, uh, sticky beak fingers, whatever you want to say. And yeah, I would say if you're going to buy a drill press, you probably want to buy one of these vices. You know, everybody who has a drill press really has one of these vices. You know, you open them up, chuck whatever you want to chuck in there. And also it has like a slide on the bottom so you can go up and down. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the drill press. All mine is a standing on like a a base type thing. It's pretty high I guess. Yeah, and every week I will be posting a video on how to DIY just tools and equipment. So check out my channel, subscribe and comment. Thanks guys for watching and have a good day.